Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to my life as a teenage Nagito. We're going, we're going to go and look at things, I think. Oh. Well, excuse me if the, the thunder is, like, rumbling and stuff. Yeah, it's very possible the power may go out while we're doing this. Just so you know. So it might, you know, we may never see this footage ever again. It's possible. But... That being said, if you hear any big rumblings in the background, um, it's raining outside. Uh, I need to add, uh, oh yeah, I didn't talk to these people yet, did I? Or at least not all of them, I don't think. The night is my domain. You must have been in a deep slumber last night to not notice the alarm and that rumbling noise. <laughs> I see. You must have been possessed by a wandering succubus. For you to avoid being snatched away to the world of the dead, <laughs> I knew you had the devil's luck. Well, my luck is my only good quality. Hey, you said you witnessed Nekumaru at sunrise, right? Can you explain that to me in a little more detail? I... I was so hungry yesterday that I couldn't sleep. I figured it was nearly morning, so I went to check the clock in the lounge. Turns out it was totally off. It was still around 5 a.m. Hey! And that's when it happened. I heard the sound of the door closing off in the distance. When I stuck my head out from the lounge, <laughs> I saw Nekumaru's back. He was about to go down to the first floor. I thought about running after him. Oh, the big spooky sounds. But I didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. If I knew something like this would have happened, I would have mustered the strength to follow him. Hey, hey! But why would Nekumaru wander off so easy early in the morning? I... I was wondering about that too. I mean, I already knew I wasn't going to get any sleep. So I just sat in the lounge. Scared off into space for no real reason and waited for him to come back. Jeez. And that's when the clock in the lounge started ringing. Thanks to that loud alarm, I completely forgot about Nekumaru. Until just now. Then from the time you saw Nekumaru, until the alarm rang, you were at the lounge the whole time? But what were you doing during that time? By chance, were you thinking about everything that's happened so far and getting choked up? What? Was I right? Of course you... not. You're completely wrong. Bach, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. And I thought you were reminiscing about Pekko or something. But that can't be, right? After all, you already know how pointless it is to cling to memories of the dead. And Kazuichi. Hey Kazuichi, if you don't mind, can you inform me? That stuff about a rumbling noise in the ring clock. What was that all about? You. Seriously? You don't know? You're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for actually taking the time to explain it to me. Uh. So, that's how it is. Fine, I'll tell you. It happened last night. I was sleeping peacefully in my room and all of a sudden I heard this huge sound. Like an alarm clock? <laughs> what the? The sound was super loud so I rushed out of my room. As I went down the hall towards the lounge. Hey, what are you doing? This rock is... It's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice! Wow, that bad? Don't go making all that noise so suddenly! It, it's not me! The, the wall clock just started ringing! I was just trying to stop it! I love all their faces. Every single one has a great expression and I can't tell which one I like more. Then hurry up and stop it already! I, I, I know! I'm in the middle of doing that! And that's when the sound finally stopped. Uh. Man, that totally freaked me out. Well, I'm definitely wide awake now. What did you do to me? 
My mental defenses were bombarded with sonic resonance. You! Fuyohiko, was this not your doing just now? Shut up! Why would anyone do something so childish? Huh? You must have rushed over after hearing that sound, but you sure seem to get there pretty fast. Well, yeah. Well, I didn't rush over here. I was at the lounge by coincidence. You seemed... Coincidence, hmm? Huh? What? Do you doubt me? Hey. Whatever. I don't really give a crap, but it's 5.30 a.m. Aw, man. And thanks to Fuyuhiko, I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. Huh? What was that sound? What's going on? Earthquake? This pressure. It did not feel like it shook. Hey, 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 hey! There's hey. no way this building is gonna collapse, right? Oh. Hey, Kazuichi, stop clinging to me. Hmm. Maybe you guys would find a way out that way. And that's what happened. I see. So you're the one who was clinging to Fuyuhiko. That's obviously wrong. That's not the important part. And what happened afterward? Did you guys just separate? Hey. We decided to wait things out, but in the end, nothing else happened. Also. And not just that, we all felt really weak, so we decided just to go back to our rooms for a while. Hmm, I see. Yep, what you said just now was extremely important. Thanks to that, I've thought of one suspicious person. What? Who are you talking about? Me, of course. Huh? I mean, isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud. Everyone else came out of their rooms. Well, the same goes for the rumbling noise that you guys heard after that. Why, you... Hey, y you better not be trying to confuse us. Of course I'm not. For now. Hey, hey, hey! That for now line is what's making us even more worried. Anyway, it seems there's no doubt that what you guys just told me is a very important clue. The wall clock alarm you heard first, and the rumbling noise that came right after. Now then, how do these noises relate to this case? Yep, I get it now. Thanks to everyone's detailed information, I'm slowly getting a grasp of the situation. If I put events in chronological order, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekumaru at 5 a.m. That's the time Nekumaru apparently went down to the first floor. At 5.30 a.m., the alarm clock in the lounge started ringing. When that happened, you two woke up and left your rooms to go to the lounge where Fuyuhiko was. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's make history. Now that I think about it, something might have happened to Nekumaru during that noise. If so, that must have been Nekumaru's final scream before he breathed its last. Hmm. Hold on. If Nekumaru died when we heard that sound, doesn't that mean we have an alibi? Alibi. I mean... When we heard that rumbling noise, we were at the lounge, you know? If that's when the killer murdered Nekumaru, then we have a solid alibi. I get it. Can't argue with that. It might be too soon to declare that just yet. We can't be certain unless we first clear up the mystery surrounding that rumbling noise. Hmm, a rumbling noise. Huh. Did something heavy fall over or something? Also, based on what everyone else just told me, there's another thing I'm curious about. You all heard the alarm clock in the lounge go off just before the rumble. What do you suppose that means? Hey. Hey, haven't we talked enough? I really think I should repair the elevator soon. Oh my, you're still here? <sighs> Once the elevator's fixed, I'm not going to let you anywhere near it. And so Kazuichi ran down the stairs, complaining for some reason. So what should we do for now? Ah, there's something I wanted you to do. 
After the elevator's fixed, there's something I want you to investigate. Huh? What is it? The clocks in the first floor lounges of both Grape House and Strawberry House. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Huh? Why? I'll tell you later. Hey, bastard! Fine, but why are you asking me? You can investigate that yourself. I would investigate it myself, but... By the time the elevator's fixed, there's a chance I might not be with you all anymore. Huh? Anyway, I'm counting on you. That doesn't make any sense. Now then, here comes the main event. There's only one thing I can do for them. I can go to that place for everyone's sake. Are we going to go to the final dead room? I can't let them face that danger. I must be the... That's a word I'm not familiar with. Paria? Who goes in their place. Well, I mean, if we're going to have anybody be the sacrificial lamb, let's let Nagito be it. That's it. I should investigate one more time before I head over there. The elevator and the door at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Just in case it might be good to check and make sure they're really blocked off. I'm okay with Nagito taking on the life-threatening event. You. The elevator Steve still being repaired. Get lost. Jeez, stop getting in the way. Uh, looks like I'm disliked. Oh well, it's understandable. I mean, compared to you talented fellows, I'm just a piece of trash. Uh. Yeah, yeah, whatever. If I press the button next to the elevator, the door should open so I can ride it. But nothing happens when I press it. Looks like it's definitely broken. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs. Hey, why did the elevator break in the first place? Man. Oh, the killer malfunctioned the safety device. Look, you see that silver cover under the button? It looks like that's the elevator's control panel. They probably opened it up and messed with the settings. But the cover's locked, so... They wouldn't have been able to open it unless they had some kind of tool. Hmm. Are there any tools in this building? Uh. No, there shouldn't be. I don't really know if they forced it open with a tool anyway. The control panel on this side wasn't the one that was forced open. I see. It's the control panel on the grape house side that's broken then. Yeah. If the one on this side isn't broken, it's the only thing I can think of. I'm pretty sure there should be a control panel over there, too. Plus, the elevator's stuck on Grape House side. Wouldn't that mean the last person who used this elevator went to Grape House? Uh. Yep, it's official. The elevator was disabled on the other side. Hey! Hey, I don't have time to talk to you. Hurry up and go away. You. Though that would mean that... The killer's on the Grape House side, right? Unless he figured out a way to trick the tower, that's the only way through. So I think the killer would be on the Grape House side, maybe. I don't know, maybe not, I don't know. Or maybe not necessarily, maybe it was a remote kill. But somebody went over to Grape House. I'm trying to do repairs without any tools. No matter how much time I get, it won't be enough. If you don't have any tools, why don't you use this? Huh? Whoa! Is this a multi-tool? Where'd you get something like this? I had it with me before I even arrived at the fourth island. We're going to explore a new island. It's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? You serious? A guy like you has been walking around with a dangerous tool this whole time. Uh. It's nothing. Then I'll let you have this. Your repairs might go faster now, right? But in exchange, I want you to do something. Huh? What? That multi-tool is a compass. 
after the elevator is fixed. I want you to ride the elevator and... Oh, that's kind of cool. Ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. What the heck for? Well, to be honest, there's something I still don't understand. Regarding the structure of this building. So please, I really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. Huh? I don't really get it, but... Well, as long as I'm just checking a compass, I don't mind. I'm glad. Then I'll leave the rest to you. That's actually kind of important, because see, I'm still... Once again, though we have hypothesized things to be the way they are, or, you know, our visualization of how the buildings are connected, it's still not entirely... Because we, we still... We're, we're hypothesizing here. And honestly, because we can't see anything, we don't really know anything. This, too, must be the will of causality. I can think of only one reason why the killer barred the door to Strawberry Hall. They wish to prevent me from going to the crime scene. Judgment! Which means the killer was afraid. Afraid of the conclusion promised by my assumptions. Uh, yeah, that's exactly how that went. Oh man, they really screwed this one over. It's the Strawberry Hall door that leads to the tower. The button is broken. There's no way it'll open. As I recall, based on what Fuyuhiko told Hajime at the phone, the other side of this door is also barred with chains. They must have been really cautious to go to the trouble of barring the door from both sides. Something about that seems a little suspicious. Let's make history. The killer's intent. I can think of only one explanation. Ah, uh, Gundam. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps I'd forgotten to put my ice cream in the freezer. Whoops. <laughs> I just I just looked over and I'm, I saw the, the ice cream I got from the store and I totally forgot to put it away. Anyway, perhaps they intended to keep me from entering the scene of the crime. Listen well. Which means the killer was afraid. Afraid of the conclusion promised by my assumptions. You already said this. Yeah, that was probably it. Strawberry Hall's button has been added. Just as I thought, there's no mistaking it. The elevator and the Strawberry Hall door look like they're completely broken. I didn't expect the contact elevator to be disabled from Grape House. As long as it's disabled, there's no way to move between the houses. Which means the person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at Grape House. That person... They should still be a Grape House, but... No. It's too soon to form an answer. But I won't be too late to find the answer, even after I finish investigating that room. Oh man, let's go investigate the room! I want to see the spooky face again! Ooh, hey there. The final dead room. Only those who win the life-threatening game contained within will reach the octagon. And inside the octagon, the ultimate weapon awaits. There's no doubt Nekumaru's killer has been to that place. No matter where I search, there are no weapons anywhere in this building. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekumaru, the killer must have obtained it there. If that's the case, I should get going. Also, unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. That's all the more reason why I should go. How did Nagito make it this far in his life? Without being dead yet. Oh, man. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, man, this is getting like a little bit 999-ish now, isn't it? I wonder if it was... I mean, I know that obviously the... Um, what did they say? The... The creators of the two separate games knew each other. So I wonder I wonder if it is just supposed to be sort of like a cameo to 999 somewhat. At least a little bit. I see. So this is the final dead room. It feels a little eerie. Hope I don't get scared. 
did the door just lock? I see. The door is designed to automatically lock. It's not... It's not I would have turned back if it stayed unlocked. Oh. And I thought the door finally opened. Now it's locked again. I figured you'd turn up since I haven't seen you in a while. But I never expected to see you here. Oh. Nagito! Huh? Why are you in such a dangerous place? Same to you. Why are you here? I... I heard the body discovery announcement. And I thought something happened in this room. And you got locked in when you came inside? You're a fool from head to toe. <laughs> I am truly ashamed. Well, not that I care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Um... Get in your way? The life-threatening game is going to start soon, right? It'd be annoying if you got in my way. C could it be? Are you planning to do it? Well, if I don't, I can't get out of here, right? And besides, the only way trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. That's wrong! You're wrong! Nagito is not trash at all! There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live! <laughs> I know I'm being heartwarming right now, but my heart is super scared and pounding like crazy! Are you sure you're not just excited? You know, isn't it exciting to think that I can finally be useful for the sake of those who shoulder hope? Now then, about this so-called life-threatening game. Oh, escape! Oh boy! <laughs> Seek a way out! It is 999. Nagito, if there's anything you don't get, just ask me! By all means, I'll help you and make sure you get out of here! Leave it to me! Bring it on, escape game! That sounds like something a teacher would say, but I shouldn't expect too much from her. Oh yeah. Yeah, here's 999 in its fullest. It's Monokuma's plushie. You want me to punish you guys? <laughs> it looks like this plushie talks when you squeeze the tummy. Thrills, chills, kills! Life-size Monokuma! Now for the special price of only $10,000. An advertisement? There's something shining under the bed. I can't reach it. Looks like the bed is fixed to the floor. I can't even move it. Is there something thin and long? Okay, so we gotta find something thin and long. Watch the news? says watch the news in blood I might get cursed just by looking at it <laughs> it's just a secret code plus it's a pretty common one a secret code Nagito do you happen to know what this means yeah it's a common riddle oh god I don't know what the news is though I, I don't remember the, the oh hey look at all that blood up there Sure is a lot of blood. Okay, I'm assuming that's where we came in from. <laughs> Nagito, we have a problem. These iron bars are completely blocking the door. As long as we don't do something about these bars, we won't be able to escape from this room. There's something written in blood on the floor. Um... This is the number four, right? Number, huh? Looks like a different symbol to me. Like, for instance, a symbol you often see on maps. Okay. I'm assuming that's where I have to put in the code to escape. It's just one hanger hanging in the closet. It might be useful for something, so I should grab it just in case. Oh, good. We've got a hanger now something written in blood at the back of the closet. Um... Looks like the number five. These blood symbols alone don't make sense, but maybe if I combine them with something else. Watch the news. A 
Alrighty. Let's first start by thoroughly searching all the stuff in this room. There should be some useful stuff. Got it? Do your very best to search through everything. I see. So you intend to do nothing. Um. Uh. <laughs> yep. There's something written in blood on the wall. Hmm. Looks like it's the number three. These blood symbols alone don't make sense, but maybe if I combine them with something else. How did you get blood all the way up there, by the way? Is it like leaking from the ceiling? That's a little weird. <laughs> no, you tell we had, yeah, it's a blocking the door. We gotta escape from the room. For those of you who have no interest in playing an escape game, I prepared a shortcut. What would you like to do? Do you like to take a shortcut? No, screw you, I'm gonna play 999. <laughs> no, no thank you. Just out of curiosity, what happens if I do that? Do I just skip it or do they have like some special dialogue? Hey, look, I found a key over here. Let's leave. There's obviously a pattern to the lights. This must be the unlocking device for the iron bars. I probably have to put in the four-digit passcode. No problem! I have a secret plan! If you input 9,999 combinations, it'll open eventually. You're right. But there doesn't seem to be any buttons for inputting a password. Uh-oh! Looks like it might be under this lid, but... It doesn't seem to open. Not just that. What's this red light that's on top of this device? So maybe we need to open it? Ah, it's a laptop. Looks like it's on, but it's locked so I can't really access it. It doesn't look like you can input the password. How are we going to turn it on? With this clothes hanger I've got. All right, we've got a six. There's something written in blood on the wall. Um. It's the number six. These blood symbols alone don't make sense. It's locked, it won't open. Flyers, huh? These might be useful for something, so I should grab it. Can we combine items? If I straighten it out, it'll become, it'll become a thin stick. All right, go ahead, Nagito. Do that for me. Maybe we need something else. Uncompressed password. It looks like some kind of password. The first letters of the days of the week are probably the password. I doubt it's that simple. This television looks broken. Did I look at this one yet? I don't know. Um. The seven. I think I looked at everything already. So they said watch the news. Can I can I how do you how do you combine things? How does is that a thing in this? Use? Ah, okay, cool. Apparently you have to press triangle to use. Do not use. Something under the bed, I can't reach it. Something thin and long, okay, so. Triangle. Get me out of the screen, there we go. Obtain desk key. Alrighty. Maybe we can escape with this, Nagito. Who knows?
Yeah, I was curious if it was supposed to be like emulating 999, but I'm almost positive now that that's what they're going for. Mm -hmm. Ah, scissors. If you use these to cut the iron bars, you're joking, right? Or is that supposed to be an indirect hint? I'm sorry. Obtain scissors. The heck are we gonna do with scissors? Was there even anything to cut? There was paper, but I don't think we were really supposed to cut that. We have no more business with this. I do have to say, they're kind of, um, attacking me a bit. I don't really know what they want me to do. Watch the news, and then we have a series of numbers. I mean, we don't have to try 9,999 combinations. We could try the one... Two, three. There was four in there and five. If you try those numbers, that would lower the number of combinations needed, but I'm not sure I like that. Was this a clue? You want me to punish? Thrills, chills, kills! Now for the special price of ten thousand dollars. was also a four-digit code, huh? But it looks like you can change the numbers with this one. Alrighty! This time around, let's try the 9,999 combinations. I'll leave that mindless work to you, Monami. <laughs> I'll decline as well. Password to open this. I have a feeling that the hint is close by. Should try and putting something. Looks like I inputted it wrong. Spiders come from the ceiling. Woo! No. You got any ideas, Monami? I'm a little stumped, I gotta say. <laughs> That's safe as a toughie. Did you find it out, Nagito? The numbers on the wall are definitely the password for the save. Okay, so don't use the one on the floor. Gotcha. I just need to look at those numbers by... Oh, that's what it was. Watch the news. Northeast, southwest. And I used that thing in the floor as a um, compass rose, I think, is what it's called. I see. It's really simple. I mean, if we were, you know, smart enough to keep our stupid thing with us, this wouldn't be as hard. But, that being said, is that, is that, um, is that pointing north? I think it is. So, we start with, that was five. Crap, what was watch the news? Oh. So, five, three, six, seven. I think it is. Let's try. I know. Five, three, six, seven. Really? Leave it to me. If you don't know something, don't overwork yourself. Feel free to ask me anytime. Oh, wait, no. I was looking at, okay, news is the word. Sorry, I'm an idiot. I thought W was that. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so it's three, six, five, seven. Leave it to me. 